waited a long time for that first game, Garrett. How did it feel to get out there with you? Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, at the same time, personally, I made a lot of mistakes in the game and um, somewhat threw the momentum off on offense in the first half with a big time drop uh, in the second quarter. That should have been a touchdown, but um, other than that, I mean, it was a lot of fun just to get out there and play, but um, personally, I just have to be better. Eric, will you talk a little bit about the start? Because you know, part of it was them going down the field and scoring, but the other part was a three and out on her book. A short three and out first drive, not scoring when you're in the red zone yeah. later. I mean, just can you talk a little bit about the offense early? Um, we definitely started off very slow. Um, a lot of it was mistakes by us. Um, we had a couple drops that I know of, and um, with drops and miss, miss assignments, that really just throws off the tempo and throws off the whole offense because our offense relies on us making plays and us getting first downs, which creates tempo, which really makes the defense back on their heels. And that's when we're at our best, like you saw that second half. What was it that you guys did to kind of overcome it, I guess, or, or to play through it? or? Um, really, did we just made plays. Um, just caught the ball when we were supposed to catch the ball. Ran, uh, we all ran the right routes, made our blocks, and just like making it or just doing our own jobs. That just creates the whole tempo of the offense. Hearing all the talk and fast and all the potential that you know, this team has had, I think you know, hearing that all, all through camp, all through spring, you know, maybe got into your head a little bit earlier. Um, I definitely think that it got in our heads a little bit just because we're hearing it since the, since the springtime. So over the past five months, we've been hearing nothing but Falcon fast, Falcon this, Falcon that. And it just came down to us executing and making plays when we had to make plays, and we didn't do that. As a matter of, I guess I'm asking because of, I don't want to say generation because I'm not that much older, but you know, not necessarily hearing it, but seeing it on social media since I guess you know, being in college now, you're probably on the Twitter more and Instagram and all that, and you're seeing those hashtags versus actually hearing mm -hmm. Falcon fast. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think everybody on the team has a Twitter, has an Instagram, has a Facebook, so we're going to see those things every single day because we all follow all the media. We follow BG Athletics, and just seeing that seeing that stuff every single day, I get, it definitely gets in our heads. We just definitely can't have that happen. What's it been like on the practice field this week? Okay. Um, we've been paying close attention to the details, like Ryan said, the details and fundamentals of what we have to do in our techniques and um, just catching the ball and being tuned in to exactly what we have to do on every single play. What do you see with VMI on defense? They gave up over 450 yards of offense last week. I mean, but there's almost, you know, 80, or there was 80 points scored in their game last week, but it seems like this could be obviously the game you need to kind of get back on track. Yeah, I mean, they run a 3 4 defense, um, which to us is just, I mean, this is a regular defense. We really don't pay attention that much to like what sets they have. It's just if we get out there and execute and do what we have to do, then it should be a game of success for us and get us back on track to where we need to be for the rest of the season. You come down with a chip on your shoulder. I mean, first quarter, one and just. You obviously did not like the taste that's in your mouth right now from that last game. But you're going to take it out on VMI. Is that the mentality? I mean, yeah, that's definitely the mentality. Um, like the last game, we didn't come out at all. We came out very slow. So we, gave the defense, we put the defense in a bad spot just by going through the first three drives. And um, this week, we need to come out with a, a better pace and a better tempo for um, to help us, but mostly to help the defense so they're not on the field that much. <laughs> Just to follow up on that, Garrick, I noticed in the second half once the offense started to get rolling, and uh, we talked to Matt after the game about that too. It seemed like you guys were coming off the field trying to trying to encourage them to get some stops. Yeah, I mean, I think the first half really really messed our defense up just because of how long they're on the field for. Um, we I don't know how many three knots we had in the first half, but I know it was way too many. Um, so the second half, we came out and we knew that we had to score a bunch of points to get us back in the game. And by that time, um, their offense was just in a group, and um, we take that blame because we were going three and out every single every single time in the first half, and 
We just can't have that as offense. Jake, obviously, um, it was you guys' first game in the offense. Um, what did you guys learn from watching the film that you guys can move forward with this? Um, we need to pay attention to our techniques and fundamentals. Um, we let that slip a lot just by um, not finishing routes, not finishing blocks, not catching the ball. And, uh, and just our fundamentals and techniques is what we need to focus on and what we learn that in an up-tempo offense that we need to pay attention to. Anything else for Gary? All right, thanks.